What was the thing you mentioned with the anthrobots that they can reverse aging? There's a, a procedure called an epigenetic clock, where what you can do is look at a particular epigenetic states of cells and compare to a, a curve that was built from humans of known age, you can guess you can guess what the age is. Okay, so 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 we can take now, and this is uh, Steve Havrath's uh, work and many other people that when you take a set of cells, you can guess what their biological age is. Okay, so. We make the anthrobots from cells that we get from human tracheal epithelium. We collaborated with uh, with uh, Steve's group, the Clock Foundation. We sent them a bunch of cells, and we saw that if you if you check the the anthrobots themselves, they are roughly twenty percent younger than the cells they come from, and so th that's amazing. And I, I can I can give you a theory of why that happens, although we're still investigating. And then I could tell you the implications for um, longevity and things like that. My theory for why it happens, uh, I call this uh, uh, I call this uh, age evidencing. And I think that what's happening here, like with a lot of biology, is that cells have to update their priors based on experience. And so I think that they come from an old body. They have a lot of priors about how many years they've been around and all that. But their new environment screams, I'm an embryo. Basically, there's no other cells around. You're being bent into a pretzel. They actually express some embryonic genes. They say you're you're an embryo, and I think it doesn't. It it's not enough new evidence to roll them like all the way back, but it's enough to update them to about twenty percent back. Yeah, so it's similar to like uh, when older adult gives birth to a a child. So <laughs> you're you're <laughs> you're saying you can just fake it till you make it with. Uh with age like the environment convinces the cell that it's young well first of all y y yes y <laughs> yes and uh, that's 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 my that's hypothesis nice. and we have a whole b bunch of research uh being done on this there was a study where they went into a um an old age home and they redid the decor like 60s style when all these folks were really young and they they found all kinds of improvements in blood chemistry and stuff like that because they say it was sort of mentally taking them back to when you know when they were the way they were at that time. I I, th I think this is a basal version of that. That basically, if if you're finding yourself in an embryonic environment, what's more plausible that 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 you're young or or what what you know what like I think I think this is this is the basic feature of of biology is to is to update priors based on experience. Do you think that's actually actionable for longevity like you can convince cells that they're younger and thereby extend the lifespan this is what we're trying to do yeah could it be as simple as that why that's not si well I mean, i'm not claiming it's simple that, that is in no way simple but because because again you have to all all of this all of the regenerative medicine stuff that we do balances on one key thing which is learning to communicate to the system we have to, if you're going to convince that system, you know, so, so when we make uh, gut tissue into an eye, you have to convince those cells that their priors about we are, we are gut precursors, those priors are wrong, and you should adopt this new worldview that you're going to be, you know, you're going to be an eye. So being convincing and figuring out what, what kind of messages are convincing to, to cells and how to speak the language and how to make them take on new, uh, new beliefs, literally, is, is at the root of all of these future advances in, in birth defects and regenerative medicine and cancer. And that's, that's what's going on here. So I'm not saying it's simple, but I can see the, I can see the path.